So our next recipient is the winner of the MCAL Public Relations Award, and that goes to Beaumont Commons in Farmington Hills for their Giving Tree event. Now, <laughs> now in its seventh year, the Giving Tree event is stronger than ever. Although the event was originally created for the betterment of the students at Botsford Elementary, it was also about bringing the holiday spirit to the residents and doing the right thing for the community. There are Christmas trees displayed around the facility with name labeled envelopes hanging from them, asking for a $20 donation to purchase scholastic books for every first grade student at Botsford Elementary. Botsford Elementary is a Title I school with 100% of every student in the school receiving free breakfast and lunch. They are a school that needs support from the community to provide basic supplies. As in years past, staff, residents, and families rose to the occasion and filled every envelope with cash to purchase every child's book. Supporters donated canvas bags and helped pack the books for every student so they received an awesome gift from Santa when they visit. Residents labeled every bag of books with each child's name. The books are chosen by their teachers based on their reading level and interests. It's the same Santa Claus team from Bel Air who were at the first event seven years ago. Mrs. Claus's mother lived in the community for many years and has been gone for three. They come back every year to continue the tradition. The kids sit down facing Santa. They count to three and everyone opens a gift together. The story of the giving tree is worth telling because it's ageless. There will always be a new class of first graders. There will always be people aging in communities and there will always be community members who wanna help get involved. The local media strongly covered the event. Television stations, including WDIV, and newspapers, including The Observer and Eccentric, all ran features on the event. Online and Facebook postings and articles were a great holiday gift for residents and staff. The coverage showed Beaumont Commons is a community without walls, and they are an integral part of the surrounding neighborhood. Intergener intergenerational programming is so important and the story of the giving tree is one that will be told for many years to come. It is the community that matters no matter what age the story is a, that is a story every generation can tell. Congratulations to Beaumont Commons in Farmington Hills. Well, hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, I am not accepting this award myself. Uh, I just was a participant, and um, I guess I won the rock, paper, scissors, so I get to be up here. My name is Colleen Irvin. I'm the manager of business development for Beaumont Commons, D uh, Farmington Hills. During this event, we were Botsford Commons, but since then, we have changed names. So we are now Beaumont Commons, Farmington Hills. Um, and I would like to take a moment to talk about thankfulness and gratitude. So on the way here, I asked Siri what uh, the definition of gratitude was. And this is what she said. The quality of being thankful and the readiness to show appreciation for and to return kindness. And with that being said, I have a lot of people that I need to thank. So if you are comfortable standing or waving or giving a shout out, whatever you got to do, I would really like for everyone here to know that it did take a village. So we'll start back here. Oh, sorry. Barb Smith, thank you so much for everything that you do. You are the brains and brawn behind this, your relationships with Botsford Elementary. Couldn't do it without you. Thank you. Um, let's see. Cheryl Snyserski, thank you for always saying yes to everything. 29 years with us, there's nobody better than you. And to her husband, Kevin, who's been a nurse for 30 years at her side, also always saying yes. Thanks for not saying no. <laughs> and then the support of Diane Berry, who is our fearless leader. She's the executive director uh, at Beaumont Commons, Farmington Hills, and there's no way we could do it without you because you see the big picture, and thank you for that. I would also like to thank her husband, Jim, who also doesn't say no very often, which is why we can do all of this. I'd like to thank my husband, Dan. Uh, I'd like to thank Margaret Leitner. Thank you for being a great supporter of us. Deborah Gibson, thank you so much for being um, a supporter as well. And now the real people that dug their fingers in. Oh, and Suzanne, Suzanne Lapar, thank you. Fullness of life for our assisted living. 
Um, but the real, the real stars of the show here are the six ladies down here that have put so much time and effort into writing names and packaging books and delivering things and being places on time and just owning the whole thing. Couldn't have been done without you. Jane McQueen, thank you so very much. June Dore, thank you, thank you. Nancy, thank you. Bobby, thank you. Why aren't you guys waving your arms? <laughs> Betty, thank you. Martha, thank you so much. So it couldn't have been done without all of you guys. Thank you. And one last thing, I, it, I have to. It's been ingrained in me. Uh, even though we are no longer Botsford Commons, we are Beaumont Commons, Farmington Hills, there's one thing that won't change, and that's our mission. It's to create the fullness of life through the joy of relationships, the art of caring, and the spirit of living. Thanks, everyone.